Hello everyone, this is Joe from Digital Phantom and like I told you last week I'm gonna start doing videos weekly um, because you guys have requested it and uh, I really like doing those and I have a little bit more time now during the summer so I'm gonna start doing them weekly um, if not more often but at least weekly I'm gonna post at least one video so in this tutorial we're gonna go back into After Effects and we're gonna do uh, something a little bit interesting we're actually gonna be using expressions and mathematical formulas to generate this polygons or any, uh, any standard polygon of any uh, size you want. So polygon meaning three sizes, uh, I mean three sides or more. So uh, like I told you last video, I'm gonna start posting the code on GitHub so you can access it. Uh, actually, at the time of posting the video, the code will be already up. So you guys can just download it immediately and start working with it. So let's get started. Let's see here we're at the uh, Digital Phantom GitHub repositories and you can see the last video here and um, I mean the last code for the the CAPTCHA code for the last video and we actually got the After Effects.js file of this repository here and we're actually going to be using this polygon. So as you can see After Effects expressions uh, work with um, with JavaScript so they're written in JavaScript so actually here this function which acts as an object when you instantiate it basically it takes the the side the number of sides of the polygon the center and the radius and then you use this function down here chord and the pace would basically be, be the time where you're at so that it continues over time. All right. So, without talking too much about that, let's see what we're going to be creating. So here we have uh, this composition here, and let's play it. See what's going on. All right. So that's good. That's a pentagon right there, and we're generating that using the JavaScript code. So you can see right there, it's generating a perfect standard polygon of five sides which is known as a pentagon and as you can see the number of sides is right here if we change it to three it's going to generate a triangle so let's try that out three there you go it goes and generates a perfect triangle it's really nice right there and let's do it let's do four sides now it's a rhombus it's a square rotated to a 45 degree angle all right that looks pretty good so now let's do something weird like nine sides let's see what's going on so as you can see it's, it's taking care of itself and it's generating the polygon there you go and as you can see we have different variables there we have uh, the number of sides we have the radius we have the center we have the speed and that by default it goes at one which is standard I you could do a store than that but um, you can see it, it takes care of itself so all right so let's change the center of it right now the center is right in the middle so let's Take the center, change the center, and let's put it there. Now let's increase the radius to uh, 50. That looks pretty good. And uh, the number of sides to 6. So now let's play it. There you go. So you can see it's really dynamic. So you can do it uh, with any figure you want, any polygon you want. You can do a square, you can do a triangle, as long as it's a standard polygon. Meaning all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. So let's, rump, let's jump right into the code. Alright, so let's get the code right from here. Select it all. Copy, there we go, very good. Now let's create a new comp. So, file, new, 
new project let's create a new project don't save don't want to save it now let's create a new composition all right so let's bring it back here uh, polygon so remember I have my I have the source code the JavaScript code on my clipboard because I copied it already from github so that's going to be well that's pretty long it's 30 seconds it's more than enough let's do 10 seconds that's going to be fair enough it's not 720p so let's generate layer new solid we're going to actually use the write on effect so let's, uh, let's do poly there you go doesn't matter the background color because we're going to use uh, the write on effect right on there it is there we go now uh, let's uh, let's actually dig into this so now we have the let me see brush size all right that looks uh, pretty good don't care about that uh, let's actually go to the brush position that's right there so let's click alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch so we can start writing the expression and we can actually just paste everything in there and you might not be able to see it but that's fine let's just do open brackets and close brackets and let's type 0 comma 0 just so we don't get any errors that's fine now let's decrease the size of this increase the size of the code so we can see more let's toggle this and now uh, let's actually get it so now to start it off you start with declare a variable poly equals new polygon and let's just do for the sake of this let's just do zero 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 hopefully we don't get any errors and that's pretty good so now we have to actually apply we have this the sides center and radius we actually want to have slider so we have and I have a slider control drop it in there we actually want to have two slider controls there you go and we actually want to have it no, let me see how it's called I, I forgot let's see let's select the layer layer effect um, it's supposed to be somewhere in expression controls and point control that's the one all right so let me see and we actually need one more slider slider control that's it so we're actually gonna rename this so we could know what they are so click on the name press enter on the keyboard and this is going to be number of sides second one is going to be radius third slider control is going to be the speed and the fourth slider control is going to be the center all right that looks pretty good so now what we're going to do here is we want to declare these different variables so var sides equals that's actually yeah var sides equal now let's take this expression pick whip while you're still there that your cursor is right after the equal sign take this pick whip and take it to slider so now that's going to take the value of that slider now let's use the other variable variable radius equals let's do the same thing oops I got an error there because I removed my focus from that so let's take web again and take it to the radius alright so now let's do var speed equals well you get an, an error 
because of the space constraint here. All right, so now let, let me expand that. Hit whip again, speed, there you go. And should you put a semicolon? I should, I, you actually don't need to put a semicolon, I believe. But just to be safe, bar center is going to be equal to take whip and turn it to center. All right, so that's there right now. So we're going to put, see actually, sides center radius sides center radius that looks pretty good right there and now let's do poly that port and slow speed that should work fine right there and now let's remove this one from there and of course you got something divided by zero right there ignore that because we actually have this zero thing here radius is going to be 50 and speed is going to be 1 so now let's refresh that and that should take care of the problem so now let's go to the right on and let's change the color of that to something red all right all right so that should be able to work so now let's take here the actual controls if I'm able to get them and let's actually see that working uh, great nothing is working I believe there is a, a variable inside um, inside an internal variable inside After Effects that it's called speed because last time I tried it I couldn't get it so let's name it underscore speed that way it could probably work now let's go back to the other place we called speed and let's call it underscore speed all right, and as you can see, that's uh, the square right there that was generated. And let's do a bigger radius, a bigger brush size. All right, let's increase the radius to 120. And that looks pretty good. Change the color to something strange. Some green right there. And now let's do another pentagon, so like pentagons. And now let's try it one more time. So you can see it's pretty dynamic, and uh, it looks pretty cool actually. And actually, I'm gonna show you a little trick. So what's a circle? Actually, a circle it's a polygon with an infinite number of sides. So now let's try that. You're gonna think this is a circle, but it's not. Let's do number of sides let's put 60 sides so that's not an, a whole lot but at this size you will actually see it so the speed let's actually increase it to 20 now let's see it what do you get you get what seems to be a circle but it's actually not a circle it's a polygon with 60 sides at this resolution you see it and it looks like a circle but it's not so you got one more tip in there circle it's just a polygon with an infinite number of sides so go ahead and tell that to your friends and you'll blow their mind <laughs> all right so that's it thank you for watching this video and uh, be sure to follow us on twitter uh, that's twitter.com forward slash digital phantom and be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel so we're gonna have a lot of videos coming soon and we're gonna have updates and a lot of stuff really cool stuff uh, remember rate this video comment on it share it with your friends with your family and remember the circle just blow your mind with that it's a uh, circle it's a uh, polygon with an infinite number of sides just, just told them that and just told them that you're smart and you, you just know that and you bet them that they didn't know that <laughs> all right so see you guys next time be sure to subscribe 
like this video, comment on it, and share with your friends.